Hi, my name is Jiarong. I'm the president of the Singapore Computer Society. So artificial intelligence um, is a technology that has been there for a very long time. The difference between generative AI and artificial intelligence is that AI takes in an input and it gives you an output. For example, one plus one is equals to two. Generative AI is the other way around. What it does is it takes in an output or a desired outcome and it gives you the potential inputs that you can have. So one such example would be 10 is equals to 5 plus 5, right? But 10 can also be 0 plus 10, 10 can also be 1 plus 9. So that's the difference between uh, artificial intelligence and generative AI. Generative AI has transformed the way humans interact with computers. Uh, I know of software developers who use generative AI tools to help them in diagnosing problems in their codes. I also know of friends who are using generative AI to generate itineraries for their honeymoon. As an employer myself, I hire software developers. And one of the questions that I asked way back was, can you code? Right? Because you know, if I need you to do JavaScript development, that's what I need you to do. But things have changed, you see, because with um, search tools like Google, you know, Bing, and, and so many other uh, search tools, software developers are actually able to get the resource online. So then we shifted that question to saying that, can you search properly? Today, with generative AI, things are very different because you know, with generative AI, you are able to get the result that you need. But the question that we ask today is, are you able to ask the generative AI tools the right questions? How it works right with generative AI is that depending on the prompts that you actually ask, the results will be different. So for example, if you're asking a question on, you know, uh, how do I build a website? The generative AI will, re will reply to you, you know, in the most common way what uh, people will be looking for in a website. But if, for example, your project is very specific, you need it to be in JavaScript with a specific framework like React.js, then you should be asking um, the generative AI tool how do I build a website using JavaScript and React.js? The results will be very different and it might just be what you need for your work. I'm not an AI expert myself, but what has really helped me was me participating in the industry talks that is organized by the industry associations like Singapore Computer Society. You can also consider taking up courses um, to learn how the professionals are actually applying uh, generative AIs or artificial intelligence in their day-to-day -day lives. And this will help you to stay ahead of the curve and remain competitive. I use generative AI to enhance my communication skills with my customers, my partners, as well as my fellow volunteers. I would encourage you to look at how generative AI can pluck some of the gaps or optimize your day-to-day -day, um, you know, as a software developer and I think that would really help you be more efficient at work. So as an IT student in Kaplan, they are able to benefit in three key areas. Professional development. Singapore Computer Society has professional certifications and 220 career mentors that will be able to guide you along the way in your career journey. Connectivity and networking. Singapore Computer Society organizes an average of 2.6 events per week across chapters in the areas like cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, as well as cloud computing. This will give you a great opportunity to meet with experts as well as our industry leaders. And finally, digital resources. Singapore Computer Society has a treasure trove of articles and videos that they can actually leverage on or read and view to learn more about what's happening in the industry. We welcome you at Singapore Computer Society. See you!